everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to some brand new gameplay here on my channel. So this is the PlayStation Vita version of Fate Extella the Umbral Star. So this game is completely new to me. I'm playing this for the very first time while recording. I don't have any idea about the Fate series, but I have put some information down below in the video description about this game, if you do wish to read up on that. I'm pretty sure there's an anime, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but yeah, I have no idea about the games or the anime, um, so I'm going into this completely with fresh eyes and honest opinions. Now, I'm playing this on the PlayStation TV in 720p quality, and before I begin, I just want to say a big thank you to Scott with Marvelous Games for providing me with a copy of this game so that I can show you guys some awesome gameplay here on my channel to my lovely Team GGK members. But anyway, let's dive in. So this is going to be kind of like a first gameplay slash impressions video, just talking about my opinions on the game, my likes and dislikes, as always, my commentary is my own impressions, guys, so please bear that in mind. I'm just going to go with normal. Now, from what I do know about this game, apparently it's similar to Dynasty Warriors in gameplay, but other than that, I know nothing. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go with the main story here. Guide leader to victory in war. Ooh, okay. That sounds interesting. Saber. Flame poem arc. I guess we'll go with this one then. Choose a servant. Be my slave, lady. <laughs> Compendium flame poem. I'm actually really excited to play this. I did look at the trailer before deciding if I wanted the code or not, and it did look pretty darn interesting, actually. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Pretty! A shooting star falls from the early dawn sky, a shining light streaming through the dark river of space. The Earth's surface would be unfamiliar to modern day eyes. All who dwell upon it look up, the people, the animals, even the plants. The comet goes on soaring through the sky. For all their great speed, most comets appear to hold still in the sky from the planet's perspective. And so the people believe this one to be another harmless spectacle, a tear-shaped jewel among the stars. They have no idea of the doom it brings, no idea that their time on this planet has come to an end. Dun dun dun! Dramatic. Normally I don't read out text, but I kind of felt like doing that this time. I was in the mood, what can I say? <laughs> the surface of the Earth is on fire. Oh, damn. The planet is on fire. The catastrophe... Ah, I said that wrong. The catastrophe... Catastrophe? What? <laughs> the catastrophe, even, destroys all civilizations without clemency or judgment. The beasts of nature suffer horrible mutations, run amok, and ultimately fall to ash. Prophets protest that the end has come too soon, Rulers call upon their people to fight. Scholars say only that it is too late. A few still cling to hope, believing that at least some of them will endure. Whoa! Is this Attack on Titan? <laughs> Until the true threat makes its appearance... Is that the true threat? Some kind of giant glowing man <laughs> mystic code equipment that allows the usage of magic by either enhancing or supporting a wizard's mana ability within i can't i didn't even get to finish that the game skipped past it oh well i've got to read faster apparently giant glowing hands that's what it looks like to me defeat the enemy soldiers what's attack square 
Holy hell. That is fast. I'm playing this on a 43 inch premium HD TV uh, with HDR. It looks pretty nice when standing still but it's quite pixelated during fast movement but obviously on the smaller PlayStation Vita screen you're not really going to see that and it's going to look crisp and nice. I mean, it's a criticism in general with the PlayStation TV in particular if you're playing on a big screen. Oh! What was that? Extella Maneuver, select. Okay, Extella Maneuver. By pressing circle, you can activate an Extella Maneuver, EM for short. If you have at least one bar in your Extella Maneuver, Gauge on the bottom left of the screen, you can use it at any time. When you hit an enemy with an Extella Maneuver, you can engulf surrounding enemies and deal widespread damage. The more enemies you engulf, the more damage will accumulate. Ooh, that's cool. So it kind of like gives you a bonus for, well, having more enemies in range when you use it, I guess. Also, the first enemy hit will take significantly more damage. So I'm guessing that's going to be good against bosses, try and hit the boss and then the mobs are kind of like just a bonus. While an Extella maneuver is active, you can press circle to deplete the gauge and deal additional damage. You can deal significant damage by accumulating stock and depleting it at, all, at once, even. Oh nice, okay. Oh I got a trophy, you have earned a trophy, Extella maneuver. That makes sense. Okay, what's happening here? What did I do? Did I do that or is that just like triggered automatically? This looks badass! God damn it, those skills! So, what I'm going to say guys on these loading screens, if it's going too quick, just pause the video so that you can read the text. That one wasn't too bad because it wasn't a huge clump of text though. That is all that remains of the Ancients' final records. After the passing of 30 sunsets, or perhaps a few more, mankind's ancestors accept their fate. Oh, their end even. I don't know why I said fate, it just felt natural to say fate instead of end. I suppose it, the difference in that is the same, as my auntie would always say. <laughs> Only one fleeting warning survives for future generations. Ooh. Uh, okay, I do actually need to skip this because it will have copyright music, so I apologize. Do not want the video to get a copyright claim. The darkness is colossal! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's pretty dramatic. Imagine a deep hole growing and swelling, nothingness spreading out to blind your eyes and eat at your heart. The sheer scale of it all, it's difficult to put into words. Well, <laughs> the darkness is colossal! That sums it up, doesn't it, really? <laughs> So I'm not going to read out the speech of the characters because obviously it's at the bottom of the screen anyway. Um, it's Japanese VA. I don't think I can change it to English, but the text is long enough on the screen for you guys to read it. I'll read out any tutorial text or like the previous text we've already seen talking about story, but not character speech. Titan of the Seraph. Oh my god, okay, well that's pretty impressive if it can destroy the moon. I'm pretty, uh, pretty taken aback right now. 
あなたがあれを倒すしかないだってそうでしょうそのためのレガリアそのためのムーンセルなのだから I don't have a problem with Japanese VA and English subs because Japanese VA is just always so on point. There's so much emotion in it. And it makes me feel more emotionally invested as well. Don't get me wrong, there's some amazing, you know, English VA out there as well. But, like, most times I prefer Japanese playing myself. But for my viewers, if I can, I will choose English VA just because my audience is English, so it makes more sense. But if I was playing off camera and there was a choice of Japanese VA or English, I would go with Japanese. That's just my personal preference, though. And I've got to do things for my viewership. That's what it's all about making you guys happy and showing you awesome gameplay. It's glaring at you, it's targeting you. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> it reminds me of the Mothman because it's giant and black with red eyes. Does anyone know who the Mothman is? Let me know in the comments section. Kudos if you do. You should realize that without being told, you can see that the glowing points of light are its eyes. A giant shadow from the unknown, it's looking at you. The giant shadow is not a servant. That's what your nature, your soul, screams. But it's not an enemy program. Your mind, your experiences scream that out with conviction. All that comes from your body, your instincts, is a cry of wordless terror on your quivering tongue. Damn, the writing of this is on point, isn't it? It's definitely drawing me in, guys, the story. It's coming, it's here. The giant shadow spreads out with overwhelming speed. Oh, great. So, it's big, but it can move fast. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> with that much mass and velocity, its kinetic energy is on par with a plane crash. Oh, my God, really? How much damage could it do to Seraph? A thought runs through your head. There's no way this ends well. There is only an instant before the darkness engulfs all. Oh, my God, is there going to be any happiness? <laughs> it's just terror and darkness and despair right now. Just as in the records and the warnings the moon witnessed long ago. So I'll ask you one last time. Someone with nothing to look back on. Someone who has nothing to flash in front of your eyes. An empty shell. Was that what you were? Are you really that kind of creature? No, I'm not! Damn straight. No, I'm not. That's what my soul screams out. Something's there. That's what my mind screams out. Something irreplaceable. That's what my body screams out. In that moment, a voice illuminates the darkness. I see a gleaming light. It's like daybreak. The titan disappears and the darkness shatters. Yes! Some happiness! <laughs> light destroys shadow. The voice and the light approach me. My eyes become faint. Farewell to my righteous self. An old story that sent my consciousness drifting. The fond memories of the moon end here. So yeah, just remember guys, uh, <laughs> I haven't played any of the previous games, this is all new to me, so probably if there's any story connected to past titles, I'm not going to make that connection at all because I haven't played them. So just bear that in mind when watching this. I mean, perhaps this puts me in a good position of coming into this with fresh eyes, um, you know, being completely new to this series, I can give honest thoughts and opinions, but I'm liking the story so far. It's very dramatic and extremely well written. Moon-Sel-Chu-Su, Sounds like a plan to me, my man. 
kind of want to see what he looks like with his spiky anime hair. <laughs> He's probably hot! <laughs> ラベル。お正派戦争照射。カテゴリー Do I actually get to choose my name or is it automatic? Oh, I do. Okay. Well, we're going to go with GGK for Gadget Girl Kylie. No, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. I always forget which button it is. <laughs> there we go, that's better. I don't want a last name. Do I have to put in a last ma name? Uh, okay. Mm. How about I just have my first name as GGK and then the last name we can leave as default. あ、ルーシ。すべて問題なし。成功ですよ。ヌンセル I did actually read that. <laughs> if I read it out, it'll make it go slower and then it'll probably just like move on past the loading screen. I've awakened from my slumber. It feels as if I'm witnessing an old dream. I'm sitting in a chair. Was I sleeping, sitting up? As I raise my head, my joints ache. I must have been in this pose for a few hours at least. Oh, I hate that. I hate it when you fall asleep and you fall asleep on your arm. And then there's been times that I've woken up and I've had, had a weird dream about my arm being like severed or something. And I think that's kind of like telling myself I need to wake up because my arm's dead because it's like round the back of my head when I'm sleeping and then it hurts because I can't move it so I have to use my other hand to move it out the way and then slowly let the blood flow back into my arm and get the feeling back oh I hate that it's so annoying she's so pretty and I love that dress I don't really like the poofy shoulders though I'm not a fan of that kind of style but the red colour's nice <laughs> I'm happy to be greeted by you. Nero. Is that her name? Nero? Hopefully I said that correctly. I don't see any other way of saying that. Nero? That seems right. Those boobs, though! Has this game got a lot of fan service, guys? Let me know. <laughs> we like the fan service! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's just your smile that uh, makes me happy, Nero. <laughs> know what I'm saying? A woman in red stands proudly in front of me. From the bottom of my heart, I feel a sigh of relief. Her golden hair, her slender body, the name of this beloved woman, together with whom I have overcome so many battles, is... What is her name? Do I get to name her as well? I'm not going to name her if I can. I'm just going to leave it as default. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think there's ever a dull moment working with Nero, you know? <laughs> we get a good view at all times. <laughs> Even in her formal demeanour, I can feel her warmth and affection. But something's wrong, I know her very well. She's the most important person in the world to me. But even so, I can't remember her name. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? 
Do I have amnesia? Oh no, it's the amnesia trope, guys! <laughs> oh, it's not too bad, actually. I'm not, I'm not that bothered about the amnesia trope. I mean, you know, it is a good story, and as long as it's done well, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. Even if I do, I can at least remember what I first called her. Saber, she's known as the Heroic Spirit of the Sword. Damn, that's an awesome title, isn't it? And as the servant of GGK, me. <laughs> Repeat it, girl! It's a shame the hands there. <laughs> we kind of had a close up of the boobs, but the hand was in the way of the cleavage. God damn it. That hand placement, though. It's like when there's a nude scene in movies and, like, Things are so placed that they hide the genitals. <laughs> that was the equivalent. <laughs> the Emperor of Roses. Oh, she has quite the way of describing herself, doesn't she? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, I quite like how energetic she is, you know? A lot of stamina. Yeah, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, will she do other things as many times as I please, I wonder? <laughs> when I see her smile, I can feel the enjoyment from deep within her heart. That feeling flows through me and starts to clear the fog from my head. I can vaguely remember awkward dreams, far removed from whatever my real memories are. But as long as she's by my side, I know I'll never have to fear or doubt a thing. And that must be my character there. I've got pretty long brown hair. Lovely. As Saber says those words, I look around the room for the first time. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Ooh, I'm liking all the swirls. Are we in some kind of digital world, I think? Because there's floating cubes that look like the data. A throne? And I definitely got to sit on my throne, guys. I'm happy about that. My tushy is on the throne. Excellent. <laughs> I knew I was sitting down, but this is no ordinary chair. All around me, I see... Dot, dot, dot. A room befitting this throne. Complete with carpeted stairs to separate the ruler from his men. Did Saber prepare all this? Bow down to me, my loyal subjects! I suppose it's no surprise if she did, but there's something else. I feel like I'm missing something important. What exactly? Uh, there, 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 there. <laughs> what exactly happened to me? It's like I emphasize that. What exact? What exactly happened to me? There we go. <laughs> Got there in the end, Jesus. I don't normally do this much reading out on games though, so this is why. This is why there's gonna be some slip ups, but you know, it's gonna be entertaining for you guys nonetheless. Sometimes I talk too fast, that's why I mess my words up on occasion, because I'm trying to talk so fast. <laughs> I don't think I've ever slept an entire day before. What about you guys? What is the longest amount of time you've ever slept? I think for me, the longest has been 10 hours. That's it. I've never slept for like 24 hours. Asleep for a whole day? And what's the moon cell core? This could be dire. 
I quite like how my character looks though. She's pretty. Long brown hair with slight waves in it. I like that. And a really cute fringe as well. And adorable eyes, let's not forget. Shame the eyes aren't blue though. We should discuss this in a more comfortable setting, perhaps in the bedroom. <laughs> I will laugh if it ends up being in the bedroom now. Oh, we are going. We actually are going to her room, and she wants to lie down. Are we gonna go on the bed together? No way. So soon in the game. Seriously, game. The game knows what I like. <laughs> So guys, uh, let me know what previous games in this series are like down below in the comments se section. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that, and uh, yeah, maybe I will check them out. I'm liking this so far, but I need to play more, you know, I need to actually have more gameplay, not just story. I don't know, like, the frills around her wrist, that would annoy me on that dress. I hate stuff, like, I've started wearing more jewellery recently, and normally I'm not a lover of jewellery, um, but I couldn't stand, like, frill around my wrist, because I have quite sensitive skin, so frill and stuff like that makes me itch. <laughs> and it would really bother me how poofy that area is around her wrist on that dress like if I'm leaning my arm down it would just like be poofy and in the way I can be girly but not overly girly <laughs> I'd be privileged to tell you a bedtime story you can tell me a story in bed anytime you like Nero new content added to the gallery Settings, rest. Let's have a look at settings actually. This is the first time we've been able to have a look at this. So we've got options. Game settings. So I think we can actually change the difficulty on the fly, which is always good, especially if you want to play through a game just for the story. I love it when games give you this option. What I don't like is when you select a difficulty and then that's it. You have to play through the entire game on that difficulty. So then if you get stuck at a point, it's kind of like, well, unless I can beat this, I'm kind of stuck and I can't progress the game and finish the game. So I do like a game where you can change the difficulty on the fly. And we've got other options here. Enemies, HP, enemy indicator, automatic combo, transformation visual, message speed, and that's it. So that's pretty good. We've got camera options, controller, button config. Oh, so you can actually change the button layout then. That's interesting. I'm probably not going to do that. I'll just leave it as it is. Sound, user profile, so that's me, character's gender, female. And then we can save the game, which I will actually do now. Uh, save your progress. Hmm, the fact that nothing's appearing on the right hand side makes me worried it's not actually saving my game. I guess we'll find out later. Then we've got tutorial. Combo attacks. So this is a recap on what we learned. Uh, actually, did I miss this? I think I might have missed this previously. Combo attacks. Each servant can perform combo attacks by pressing a combination of square and triangle by pressing buttons such as square triangle, square triangle, or triangle triangle triangle. You can perform attacks that have various ranges and power. Okay, so basically the attacking moves are square and triangle. That's all I need to remember, really. Each servant has a different combination for their square triangle combos. Check the combo list in the tutorial. Uh, within the pause menu to reference those combinations. Oh, that's good. So you can actually access those at any time on the fly. That's pretty handy for someone like me who isn't really good at fighting games and struggles with remembering combos. So that's really nice that they've done that, actually. I like that. Extella Maneuver. By pressing circle, you can activate an Extella Maneuver, EM for short. We've already read this. I don't need to read this again. <laughs> 
I might read it again if I need to uh, recap and I forget what it's about. But anyway, let's continue talking to sexy Nero in bed because we want to see some uh, fan service. <laughs> Hopefully we actually see her lie down. If not, I'll be sad. What should I do now? At the very least, I know our names. I'm GGK. She answers to Saber. We clearly have some kind of relationship, but I don't know the details. Hopefully, it's sexual. <laughs> oh, God. And then there's this place. Where am I? And why does the word serif pop into my head when I ask myself that? <laughs> Lend me an ear to the tale of our passionate victory. <laughs> the word she chooses to use, it can't help but put sexual thoughts into my mind, seriously. Yes, please explain. I'm new to the game, so I definitely need this explaining. So, this セレキ2032年の人類は月面に一つのものを見出したそうだ。なあ、その性質から聖杯と呼ぶものもある。世界再変革する万能の観光。So is Nero like the main I don't know, the main character of the Fate series or something, like, you know, the most well-known character? Let me know in the comments, guys. Anything you can share about the Fate games would be helpful, just so I get more of a idea about this game, <laughs> I guess. Okay, I am a autonomous, hopefully I said that correctly, electronic life form. Oh, so she's like Data. Ah, uh, okay, so I'm a wizard! Yes! You're a wizard, Kylie! Okay. I'm used to that. I play SAO after all. I'm used to AI being alive. That isn't a problem. Oh, nice. Okay. So, uh, I'm a big deal. I think. In our private lunar abode. Why is it? Like, so many things she says just sounds dirty. Like, <laughs> maybe it's just me. <laughs> I don't know. My memories are still in fragments, but I do recall a few images here and there. The Holy Grail War. Many masters and their powerful servants, NPCs, running the war from behind the scenes. So many combatants, but only one winner at the end of it all. And was that winner truly me? So, so Okay, new content added to the gallery. I claim the Holy Grail! I feel epic right now. <laughs> Is that it or...? Yeah. So, looks like the only other option is to rest now. Bond level 1, so you can raise affection. Kind of like SAO relationships. 
眠るとしよう。Give me a back rub. <laughs> Sleep sounds good. Even if I am just starting to wake up. As I close my eyes, I realize I have one more question for now. What's that ring? The ring that you keep placing upon your breast. Literally. <laughs> Is she my waifu? <laughs> Oh, nice! The Sovereign's Regalia. The only reason I know how to say Regalia is from Final Fantasy XV. Because I used to say Regalia. <laughs> I don't know if that is a way you can actually say it, but Regalia is the correct way now. I know that from Final Fantasy XV. I do struggle to say some words, but don't we all? She's so filled with beans. <laughs> you get what you're given! You want it, you can't choose how it looks. Sabre shows off her ring to me. Her joy is so infectious that I want to get up and give her a hug and something more. I'm adding that in. It doesn't say that, but I'm adding it in. <laughs> oh, keep overwhelming me. I'm fine with it. Please lie down and rest with me. <laughs> Oh, yay! We're gonna get to do some more gameplay. Some more combat. At those words, the lights in the room go down. As I start to fall asleep, it grows dark outside, not because of the real sun, but because Seraph, a uh, surreal phantasm that manifests as its own world, wants it to. All actions, even those of nature, have meaning, but human actions are in their own special category, and so Saber and I have taken human form in our digital selves. The mind boggles! I'm thinking too much, I should take Saber's advice and sleep. I know that when I wake up, a new world will be waiting for me. We need more combat on this video! This video is like 40 minutes long, so I'm gonna keep it going longer, guys. We want some more combat on this so you guys get more of an idea about gameplay and the fighting mechanics the new extelia mayor orum the capital of roses chapter one that throne is epic look at the size of that chair man that's so ostentatious <laughs> I had a good rest, what can I say? Your beauty sent me into a sound slumber, knowing that I would awake with you by my side. See, I can be romantic. <laughs> and cheesy. I think graphically this looks nice on the PlayStation Vita. Again, I'm playing on a 43 inch screen on the PlayStation TV and it looks great. Um, just minor pixelation during fast combat, but that's to be expected on a large TV. I imagine it looks very crisp and nice on the PlayStation handheld itself. Shouldn't it be that you're a queen because you're a woman? What's wrong with being a queen? Oh, hello. 
Other characters? That butt though! Oh my god, that chest though! Sadly, no man package. Prince of Light from Ulster Cycle. The red speared warrior of the Lancer class. But he's not red, he's blue! <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to be able to say that. So, Ku, Ku for short. There we go. I'm going to go with Ku. <laughs> Enemies, no allies. My greatest enemy can also become my greatest friend. So they say. Well, he looks cool with his spiky red hair. Lee! Okay, that's easy to say, Lee. <laughs> it's not my blood! It's not my blood! It's my enemy's blood! ゆくあてもなし触覚として世話になろう。戦場であればどこだろうと文句はないぞ。うう、hello。He looks really innocent. I don't know. Uh, he's probably going to be the do-gooder, isn't he? Righteous. There we go. I was about to say righteous before I read the uh, text at the bottom there. <laughs> He's got a righteous vibe about him. Chivalrous, there we go. Gawain. Gawain, Gawain, okay, I'll try and remember that. I'm rubbish with names, guys. For those of you who don't know me and my channel, it takes me a while to remember names, so I try and repeat them as much as possible so that it kind of like sinks in. Because I'm crap with names in general in real life. It takes me ages to remember people's names. And I rarely use people's names as well. I just like look at them and talk to them rather than saying their name. I like his outfit actually. I shall henceforth believe in your righteousness. <laughs> oh god, the cheese is real. That is definitely cheddar. Maybe what she means by indecisive is that he like weighs things up too much about like who it's gonna hurt and what it's gonna affect and stuff. Because he does seem like the type of person to question things and be like, No, we can't do it that way, it's the wrong way, it's unjust. I like him, he seems cool. Definitely need to have a drink, guys. Just give me a second. Of this being a longer video and all. Watashimokonakotoshiri今の君の命令はマスターの言葉に等しい。確かに4次審が選んだ4期のはずだが、貴様様様正敗戦争に参加していたか顔を見たことがあるような名前をな。さて、おそらく1回戦で敗れた下級の英霊なんだろう、私は
I don't trust him. It's that kind of like slight devious grin he's got on his face right now. Do not totally trust. Well, I would say out of all of them, he is... I don't know, actually. Him and the blue guy are potential husband material right now. Unknown. Is that what we're going to call him? Unknown. Mr. Unknown. Mr. Nameless. なぜだか<laughs> that mean they fight alongside Nero when we're controlling her or I don't know do we just get to select and play as who we want. I see, so that's what she's talking about. Seraph is building a new lands and Sabre and I are going to claim them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on our date, Nero. I mean, expedition. Oh, he's getting a new white head to So, true and unknown are husband material right now, guys. Let me know who you think is the hottest guy in the comment section. Who is your husband material? レガリア持ってんのあんただろう。なら玉座に座るのはあんたじゃねえのか。そこのお嬢ちゃんを座らせといてどうすんだよ。もっとも泣いてんだ。青木のなや。確かに玉座とは王が座るもの。だがよは全
Yeah. Right, I want some combat now, please, game. Let's do this, Nero. I'm excited. Come back, guys. Okay, I'm not going to read that out because it's not, you know, it's going to end up skipping past it really quick. So feel free to pause the video if you want to read this text. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. I see a lion head. Rawr, baby. Those shoes, though. Those boots, though. Those boots are made for walking. これが新しい世だ。日ごとに出現し拡大していく。我らが領土だ。聖杯戦争のルールで守られていた。かつてのアリーナとここは勝手が違う。端的に言うと、誰もが平等なのだ。ここではマスターであれ。Okay. I like the scenery. It's cool. It reminds me of the hollow area in Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. That's fine. Bring on the battle. I want to do some fighting. Huh? Wait, does that mean those things can kill me? Oh, great. So the Lord in by my sweet, sweet blood. Are they like digital vampires or something? Do they sparkle in the sun? <laughs> That's bad. I'm not a fighter. I know one program, Code Cast. Make it up to me later. And uh, you can persuade Shifu. You, well, you can persuade me to forgive you later on this evening. <laughs> the water actually looks really nice as well. The colours are just so vibrant and eye-catching. I bet you this looks amazing on the original PlayStation Vita with the OLED screen. The colours are going to really pop. But I can't leave you alone. Maybe we can wing it. <laughs> How lovely! She's blushing as well. I made her blush, guys. <laughs> Yay. So, do I actually get to fight as me, GGK, this time? Not as Nero? I understand, even by her side, I'd be more of a liability than an ally. But I don't want that to push me away from her. Even if I can't fight, I still want to support her. If I didn't do that, I'd have no right to be called Saber's master. Ooh, glowy. Glowy goodness. What? <laughs> oh, what's happening? Digital upgrade. GGK Digivolve into... The ring! <laughs> I don't know, I just I just did it. Because I'm awesome. 
I can hear Saber's voice. More than that, I can see her and feel her warmth. Somehow, the whole of my consciousness is now inside Saber's ring. Ooh. It's now become the ring of Sauron, with the power to rule them all! Maybe not, but you know. <laughs> it's the one ring! She likes it when I slip onto her finger. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyway, moving on. Nothing happened. Well, at least it feels like there's enough room in here, so I don't need to panic. In fact, I like this. Now I can be next to Saber and not slow her down. Okay, let's go! Fight time! Bring it on! Bring on the combat! Let's do the sign. Oh, that looks cool. What? Is that a shield? I like the sword. It looks badass. It's red and it's pointy and I like it. Okay, completing the regime matrix, or regime matrix even. <laughs> In order to clear a stage, you'll need to defeat the boss servant, the ruler of the territory. You'll need to gather a majority of the regime keys and take control of the regime matrix in order to make the boss servant appear on the battlefield. You can obtain regime keys by taking over sectors. The campaign on Seraph is a series of power struggles over the regime matrix matrixes, each of which signifies who has control of its corresponding territory. Okay. Do you even need to block or anything in this game, or I'm guessing like at the early stages it's irrelevant? Oh, taking over sectors. Within a territory, rooms that hold at least one regime key are called sectors. When you take over a sector, you will obtain regime keys. The number of regime keys held by a sector is called a regime rank and it is displayed on the minimap. Okay. Oh, something else I want to mention, guys, is I just noticed that uh, the unknown, I think it was the, yeah, I think his, his, we don't know his name, so he was called unknown, wasn't he? Unknown was talking at the bottom there. That's one downside with having a action game that isn't, like, including English VA, because it's hard to read what the character is saying while you're in combat, so that's a downside, like, I don't really the way I feel is if you're gonna do a game that just has uh, Japanese VA and English subtitles then you shouldn't include important story segments during gameplay they should only happen in cutscenes where the player can pay attention to that because it is hard to like you know be involved in combat and read what's going on at the same time on the screen so I totally missed what unknown was saying there so I'm probably gonna have to rewatch my own video back to see what I missed and whether it was relevant or not so that is a downside to Japanese VA and English subtitles on uh, action games or games in general where they do story sections over gameplay it's hard to pay attention to that okay um, in order to take over a sect sector you will need to defeat enemies called aggressors. The number of aggressors can be confirmed by checking the aggressor gauge on the bottom right of the screen. So far, I've chosen a good uh, face cam placement then <laughs> in the top left. Nothing seems to be in the top left right now, so that's good. Uh, the aggressor gauge will increase as you defeat enemy soldiers. When the gauge is filled to the max, aggressors will appear within the sector. Okay. Using the command seal. Okay. 
When you press select during a stage, you will access the command seal men menu. You can use all three command seals at once to significantly increase your servant's HP and Excella maneuver gauges for a limited time. Okay. Okay, um... That actually wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh yes! Take it! Take it! Ah, oh, that was awesome! That was so awesome! Well, the frame rate does seem to dip here and there, but it's nothing major, to be honest. Bear in mind that the gameplay experience is going to be identical on the PlayStation Vita system itself, because it always is. It was the same with Sword Art Online Hollow Realization when it first released. Uh, just minor dips of frame rate are not an issue, really. It's still a very enjoyable experience. Check something. Oh, okay. Instant skills. When you defeat an aggressor, it will drop an instant skill. You grant those instant skill to your servant in my room. Okay. You defeated a hundred enemies. Oh my god, really? Already? Didn't even notice. Take it! It's definitely a hack and slash feel to the gameplay, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't surprise me that it's been compared to Dynasty Warriors. By the way, guys, Dynasty is the American way to say it. Over here in the UK, we say Dynasty, but Dynasty sounds cooler to me and better, so I say Dynasty. The combat is cool though. Oh nice, okay. Was I supposed to go for him straight away? But anyway, I was having fun with the combat and uh, trying things out, so that's why it took longer. But next time, I will pay attention to the red arrow indicator on the bottom of the screen. Conquest rewards and regime rank. When you take over a sector, you will obtain a regime key and QP. The number of regime keys is equal to the regime rank, so the strategy of completely taking over high-ranking sectors first is a good choice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there are ours. Never mind. <laughs> derpy derp. So I should go to this one. Zero four then. Oh, that was cool. I like that. Oh, the blue one is ours. Never mind. Victory and defeat. View the regime gauge at the top of the screen to see which side is closer to completing its regime matrix. When your forces regime matrix is at maximum, you will dominate the territory, thereby forcing the boss servant into battle. Defeat the boss servant to clear the stage. I would really like to do a boss fight on this episode, guys, if I can. Um, conversely, if the enemy forces max out their regime matrix, they will seize full control of the territory and force you off the field, thereby causing a loss for your side. Okay. Well, hopefully this music isn't copyright. 
little bit concerned about that. Hang on a second. Oh, she's adorable! And she's got a tail as well. I can't tell if they're horns or some kind of hair accessory. Looks like uh, there's a concert going on here. This is sick. She's adorable. I like her. Waifu material right there. Waifu material for sure. Elizabeth, she's got a cute name as well. You're most welcome. いかがなものか。このおバカ者。よもや所詮から貴様が相手とは何たる仕組みであろう。エリザベートバートリー。エリザベートバートリー。ま、それはそれとしてだ。観客が暴徒化しているのは構わぬのか。<laughs> Two words suddenly echo in my mind. Is she the weird band he was talking about? The <laughs> little hatchling. Groupies attack. <laughs> Those are some dedicated groupies. What is that? Looks like a robotic jellyfish. Plants are programs that have the capability to send aggressors to other sectors. If you ignore a plant, your own sector will be susceptible to enemy invasion. So basically go for that first. Uh, also, plants have the ability to continually produce aggressors around themselves. When a plant is within a sector, make sure to defeat it first. Take this! Kablam! Did I defeat it? I think I defeated it. Leveled up, sweet. Get dead. Nice. Okay, so let's go over here. in another area actually <laughs> Go 
んなところかゆだじゃ
See, it's very, it is very hack and slash though. I don't know how much time I would spend on a game like this because, you know, I'm not as into that. There needs to be more to it than that for me. But I'm having fun at the moment though. Oh shit, what's she doing? Taking ages to kill though. Oh shit. that down because it looks cool but after you've seen it so many times it's a little bit tedious The Dawn of Extella. A bit of screen tear in there. Only minor though. Total kills A. We got 868 kills. Hmm, pretty nice. Max combo 397A. Damage taken EX 57. Total sectors. We got B. And overall we got rank A. I'd say that's good for a first time actually guys. Purification Choker, new mystic code recipe added to craft. Oh, so there is crafting in this game then. Yeah, I I think the combat is fun, but like, I don't know, I couldn't spend hours on this game at a time. I think I would have to like break it up a bit. But the story is really interesting. I feel like I would be more connected to the characters had I have played the previous games or watch the anime. I'm sure there is an anime, guys. I got it in my head that there's an anime. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section, but I'm sure I've seen an anime floating around somewhere. Or maybe a couple of anime, I don't know. Very something, I can't say. <laughs> New Mystic Code recipe added to craft. We've got quite a few, actually. Okay, normal attack, square, 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 square. Yeah, it's all on there. I don't need to read it out, really. Jump attack, I didn't really seem to do much jumping actually. Should probably utilise that more next time. Instant skills collected, health boost, prana burst, invictus spiritus, arms mist, and mana recovery. No idea what they do. Well, mana recovery is self explanatory, really. What's going to happen to Elizabeth? Is she actually dead? Because I really like her. She is waifu, she is bae. Her little squirrel! Why don't you just join us? And become a waifu. Ah, That better not be the last of Elizabeth. <laughs> I belong on your finger, damn straight. Oh, 
Of course it is. So I tell her that from right by her side. I say it while reaching out to touch her fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as I'm not reaching out to touch her breasts, that's fine. She's all embarrassed now. Touching comes later when we're alone at home. You have my permission to touch my fingers. <laughs> Next base will be touching the hips. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I touch her gently. I could never touch her any other way. It feels like touching the world's most beautiful rose, or more appropriately, like touching the world's most beautiful, powerful woman. Bloody hell! Are we reading Fifty Shades of Grey right now? <laughs> I'm fine with girl on girl, if you guys are. Yes, let's go back to your room right now. While the adrenaline of battle is still fresh. I would like to conquer another battlefield, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> しかしあれだ。ひとまずこの領域は安泰だぞ。エネミーも若の true. There are no further signs of the enemy, just as Saber says this area has become her territory. That being said, I can stay at her side a bit longer, or can I? Uh-oh! In that instant, a creak snaps from inside and outside of my body. Did I exhale? Did I speak? I don't know what just came out of my lips. A low groan? A short scream? Whatever sound I made, it's because I'm in agony! Oh my gosh. Maybe, like, turning or fusing with the ring takes its toll? Even my virtual body feels pain. The moon cell is no different from the real world in that regard. Sense is still sense and pain is still pain. And death is still death. Sweet! Sounds good to me. What? Who are you? Who are you, mysterious girl? I recognize the voice actor here. I can't place it. Let me know in the comments section, guys. Actually, let me know who all the voice actors are, if you know, and what anime they have been in, or games they've been in, because quite a few of them sound familiar. Oh, sexy lady with a tail. She kit soon? I think she's a kit soon. Standard on a cute on a oaky or so you matoite. Saban to casta. Ima coconi sui sandes. She's adorable. Another sexy woman. <laughs> the game's just throwing them at me, guys. Caster? Who, who is that servant? Why do I feel nostalgic about her? Shikashi, 
she betrayed. Betrayed me. Betrayal. But then again, Kitsune. <laughs> Makes sense. She's got legs for days, though. <laughs> I like her legs. <laughs> Hmm. I can't know if she's telling the truth or not if I don't remember. Lowly <laughs> wench. <laughs> Okay. I can be everyone's master. I can be master to any lady on this game. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna play favorites. I'm just gonna have them all. I know her. I can't remember exactly, but I'm certain I know this servant. Her name is... Something floats in the back of my mind like old footage. No, like memories. That servant in blue is... It was just when I'd won the moon's holy grail war. There were several people around me, masters, servants and NPCs. I proceeded toward the moon cell core and then... Then what? <coughs> So, was this Holy Grail War in any of the previous games then? I wonder. Let me know in the comments, guys. It's bothering me who this voice actor is. I can't place it. I recognize it, but I can't place it. それも今一時の辛抱と申しましょう。心が痛みますが、それはそれ。これはこれ。たまには強行手段に訴えるのも良妻の務めです。というか、てへ、たまももう取っちゃってるんだな。強行手段。うん。たまにはどころか、いつも
what? What? There's two of me. We look the same, except we're wearing different colours. What the hell is going on? My body seizes up in pain, I can't even speak. Perhaps I've been split into two. Hmm, that's a possibility, which explains some memories being missing and all. It's like, you know, a split mind and a split body. What's going on? That being next to Casta is definitely me. The same face, the same features, from the look of it, we even have the same breathing pattern. Okay. <laughs> この Another announcement. Oh god, okay. Hmm. これよりはセラフ全員気の支配をレガリアとご主人様にかけて私正真正銘のセラフの支配者になりますねうんもう総全会の夜迷子とご苦労だが諦めよ夢見がちな狐よ yeah, but there's two though. There's two, Regalia, so... It doesn't necessarily prove it. だから、この薬指のレガリア見えません。月の王権を持っているのは今やあなただけじゃないのです。その証拠に、はい。そちらに情報を転送しておきましたから、後で実行確認なさいませ。現在。セラフの支配権はこちら可愛い玉もちゃんが50%、そちらおバカな皇帝様が50%。Okay. the hell is going on? <laughs> Would this all make more sense if I played the previous games? <laughs> So we're gonna have to fight for supremacy then. My god, I've been recording for one hour 32 minutes. Well, it's gonna be a long ass first impressions, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I wanted more combat. There's been a lot of story. So once this cutscene's over, we will wrap things up and I will give my impressions so far. She's staring at me. Despite her threatening words, she seems to sympathize with my pain. Oh, how nice of you. Moonseller わたくしは警告の美紀国あらばこれを荒らし民あらばこれをもてあそぶその本性には荒らえませんゆえ。<笑> こうてにして新王たる世に対してあの者いいこともあろうに先生不足まであれね、she has equal right. She's got the ring. So maybe she believes her Regalia is the true one, just like Nero believes our Regalia is the true one. So you know.
体は大事ないのか The surprise appearance of Casta and her partner had distracted me for a moment. But now I feel that pain again, not only physical pain, but a deep sense of failure. Slowly it begins to subside. I still can't move yet, but it doesn't hurt as much. At least I'm stuck looking towards Sabre. We need to go home and get to the room. Okay, uh, I have a vague idea what's going on. <laughs> it's definitely deep story, isn't it? I'm sure it all makes sense uh, if you have played the previous games. It was good, I enjoyed it. Combat was fun. <laughs> Let's go with that. Bond increased to level 2. Inside the regali regalia. Almost said it wrong. The regalia. Uh, it felt just like holding her hand. Warm and safe, I could feel my pulse racing against her fingers. I am. <laughs> well, the bond increased to level 2, so we have grown together. <laughs> I am beginning to wonder though, is there actual fan service in this game or not? I talked to Saber about the regalia, I want to know everything she does. Material wise it looks as if it's made of white gold, though of course it's really a collection of data. Could it be some kind of key code? She keeps referring the royal authority, but what exactly does that mean? That doesn't... The fact that she's saying confidence again with the dot 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 makes me feel like it doesn't fill her with confidence, it's making her concerned. And the expression on that character art on the left looks like she's concerned or worried. Huh? What's with the odd reaction? Is that really confidence she's giving off? No, exactly it's not. Or is it just bravado this time? ハカクの霊装であることは確かなのだが何しろメモリだけで一つの聖杯戦争分だこの最大領域と同じかそれ以上の情報量を持っている正直世だけではその進化をつまびらかにするには難しい世は発想の天才だがこればかりは専門家の
As I have given my all to conquer you, it is you who have conquered me. What? What? Side story now available. Free battle now available. True side story added. New content added to the gallery. Mystic code recipe. Settings. Craft item. Let's have a look at this before we stop the video. Craft. Craft. The only method of acquiring mystic codes involves spending QP and upgrade parts. Some mystic codes have code casts attached that remain unknown until they are constructed. When you no longer have need for a mystic code or instant skill, you can dissemble it and break it down into QP. Okay. Decoy. Cure. Heal. Let's just go with this. Why not? Maybe it'll give us a trophy. Yay! Roll of a master. Trophy earned. Heals minor injuries, heals minor injuries. So there we go, it gives us healing. So that's what the symbols were in the top left of the screen. You guys probably don't get to see them because that's where the face cam is positioned. But I did wonder, because the one I've got now is this one, uh, or at least it was these symbols. So right on the D-pad was heal and left on the D-pad is change. I don't know what change does. I didn't try any of them though. I didn't need to heal. So I just didn't bother activating it on this video. Uh, so yeah, that's it, I would say. Are they automatically equipped or what? Or does it matter? Rest. Instant skills, here we go. Set an instant skill in an open slot to expand or upgrade a servant's skills. The number of slots increases as the bond level with your servant goes up. If you set an instant skill of the same category in an adjoining and connecting slot, both the adjoining skills will be more effective. When you find an instant skill unnecessary, you can disassemble it and break it down into QP. Okay. Health boost. Golden rule trophy! There we go, that's a boost as well. Normal attacks may kill regular enemies instantly. Nice. So that's as far as I can go, and those linked together. I also could have linked, I think they're colour coded, so I assume I could have linked this one, increases Extella Maneuver Gauge Maximum, and this one, Normal Attacks may, may Deal Flame Damage. So I've just gone with the two blue ones for now, and I'm happy with that. Servant Info. Okay, bond level. Bond level represents the strength of the bond between a servant and master. When the bond level increases, you will gain more instant skill points, uh, slots even, receive gifts from servants, and unlock my room bond events in main story mode. I'm guessing that's fan service then, that's what I think. Uh, your bond level will increase if you clear side missions, use code casts, and choose the right dialogue options. Okay, so bond level with Nero is level 2. So yeah, it seems like we can do story with each character then, that's cool. I did suspect that earlier, to be honest. Did I just skip an event? I think I did. I wanted to save, but it saves automatically. So I just skipped text by mistake, because I should have done the talk. Ah, that's annoying. I just wanted to save. But anyway, guys, I think I've skipped some text, some possible text with Nero, which is a shame. But I feel like now is a good time to stop this episode here. It's gone on for one hour, 44 minutes. That's quite long. Um, I had a good time playing this game. It was very enjoyable. It runs well on the PlayStation TV, so it should run well on the PlayStation Vita. There's only some minor frame drops here and there, but nothing too jarring to disrupt play and make it less immersive. Combat is fun and fluid. Um, for me, 
like, I don't know, hack and slash games, like, I can only play in small bursts, so I don't know if I would continue playing this game, but I did enjoy it, and I just wanted to show you guys some gameplay. Storyline is interesting, the writing is amazing, it's definitely on point, the characters look really cool, the way they are drawn, the graphics look nice as well, the music is good, and yeah, I think... All in all, if you like a Dynasty Warriors type game, this game should appeal to you and it's a good one to pick up for the PlayStation Vita. So hopefully this video has been enough to give you kind of like an impressions on the game and showcase some gameplay to you guys. Let me know in the comments section your thoughts and opinions about this game, if you are going to buy it and if you aren't going to buy it, why and why not and whatever. Anything else you want to share about this game as well to do with previous titles and stuff like that. I did ask questions throughout this video, so if you guys can answer those, it would be greatly appreciated. But other than that, I just want to say a big thank you to Marvelous Games again for providing me with a code for my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Maybe some more gameplay of this game to come, I don't know. It depends how much you guys like it. So if you do want to see more, then don't forget to comment on this video. And of course, like the video as well, because I will be looking at that interaction and uh, forming a decision based on that. But anyway guys, I did enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I, I think the storyline's really interesting, so hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay first impressions video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe. It does really help me out as a YouTuber. As always, take it easy, and I shall see you next time, guys.